Hey guys, it's Jen from Minecraft Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to turn these ordinary wine glasses into something extraordinary. I'm going to show you how to glitter them and how to put vinyl on them very easily. Okay, so for my wine glasses, I'm going to be using these SVG files. I found these uh, SVG files in design bundles. I will leave the link below if you're interested in them. I thought they were pretty cute. It came with a whole bunch of them for, I think, $4 or something. Um, so not too bad. So I downloaded these into my design space, and these are the ones that I'm going to be using. Um, the one with this one, the love, I would have liked it if they would have kept the heart that I could ungroup it, but you can see here you cannot. So I'm going to leave this one the way it is. And I think with the Be Mine one, I'm just going to change the color of the heart. Well, I'm going to change it all. I'm going to change the color of the bee and the mine, and then the heart. So I have it selected, and I'm going to go to ungroup, and then I'm going to see what they group together. So they did the bee and the mine, so I'm going to select both of these. So I'm actually going to hold down the um, control, and then I'm going to then I'm going to click on the mine. So it, it, it selects both of the bee and the mine, and then I'm going to attach it. Oops, I just noticed that it didn't do the little eye here, so I will show you. If I move this, it does everything but the little eye. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to push the control button, click on the, whoops, I'm going to click out. I'm going to click on the little eye first. Maybe it'll give me it. It won't. So I'm going to look for it on the side over here. This little dot here is the eye. So I have that selected. I'm going to push the control button and I'm going to click on the B and the mine. So the B mine is already attached, so I'm just going to attach the little dot to it. So it attached everything but the heart. And the reason I did that is because I want the B mine to be a different color than the heart. So I'm going to do the B mine a pink color. So I'm going to click on the color panel up here. I'm just going to put pink. And then I'm going to take the heart and I want to change that to red. So this one is finished. So I'm going to do the next one with the XOXO y'all. So I'm going to actually change the X's and the O's to pink. So I'm going to click out and see, actually I'm going to click in it and ungroup it and see what all is attached on here. Um, you can see in the side panel here what is all here. So you can see the all is connected, but the Y is not. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click out. So I'm going to click the Y, and then I'm going to click, I'm going to hold down control and click on the all. So that's going to give me this whole thing, the Y all. So it's y'all here. So I'm going to attach those two words, or those letters together, and that's going to cut it out as one. And with the X's and the O's, I want them to be separate. So I'm going to make the X's a red color. So I'm going to do the same thing. Click on the X and then um, hold down control and click on the other X. And I'm going to attach those two. And that is going to just attach these two. I'll show you quickly. See, just the X's are together, which is what I want. And then I will do the same thing for the O's. So I'm going to click out. I'm going to click on the O. Oops, I don't want that part. I want the O. And then I'm going to click and hold down the control button. And it'll give me both of the O's together and the same thing, attach it. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I cut this out, I want it to be um, spaced properly. It just makes it easier for me when I'm putting um, vinyl on my glasses. So as you can see, the X's and the O's are together. I mean, sorry, the X's are together and then also the O's are together. So I can change the color on them and not have to do it one by one. So I'm clicking on the X, I'm gonna change it to a red color. And then I'm gonna click out and I'm gonna click on the O and then I'm gonna change it to this pink color that I have too. The y'all down here to the pink as well. So I'm gonna click on that one and change it to the pink. And then one last thing down here is this love. Again, I cannot do anything with it. It's already attached, so I'm just going to change the color. So I'm going to go to the color box up here and change it to red. And one last thing I want to do is I'm going to select just the B mine here. And I'm going to uh, change the size of this. So I'm going to try 3x3 three three and see how that looks. Maybe I'll stretch it out a little bit. Um, you gotta go on how large your glass is. You wanna measure it before you cut this out. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the XOXO y'all. And it's already unlocked for me, so I'm gonna change it to three by three again and see what that looks like. So this is a little together for me, so I think I'm just gonna stretch it up a little bit. 
I like to have a size in mind that I'm going to use and then kind of go from there. So I have the last one selected. I'm going to go to the unlock and then change it to a 3x3 three three again. Again, I don't like it too much. I'm going to just make it a little different. So I like everything the way it is, so I'm just going to go to make it and I will show you what it looks like on my mat. So here it is, the, X out, the X's are together, so um, I can cut them out, however, I'm going to move them over a little bit actually to save some of my vinyl on here. I want just enough room that I can cut underneath here, and then my O is separate, so I'll move him over just a little bit, see if maybe we can, yep, okay, I'm going to put him in there so I'm not wasting too much vinyl, and I'm going to go to the pink and see what that one looks like. So I'll move, maybe. We'll just move the O's over. Perfect. So then I won't be wasting too much vinyl with this. But this is how it's going to cut out. So I will cut this out, I will weed it out, and then I'll show you the next part with the glasses. It's actually a lot of fun to use the glitter. It does get a little messy, but I will show you how to do those. Alright, so here are the supplies that you are going to need. Um, I, I purchased these uh, wine glasses from Walmart, but I also have these that I purchased from the dollar store as well. There's a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, and I just like to work with these ones a little bit more, so you can buy them at the dollar store if you want, or you can get them off of Walmart. Then I have my files that I had cut and weeded out. I have my glitter that I purchased from uh, Walmart as well, but you can get that at Dollar Tree. I have some electrical tape, and I'll show you why in a minute. I have a few paint brushes and some foam brushes. I have a black dry erase marker, some scissors on the side over here, and then my Mod Podge. Um, the first thing that you're gonna do before you even get started is clean your wine glasses. So I'm just gonna take a paper towel and then just go around and you get all the little pieces and little pieces of hair and little dust or whatever might be on your um, wine cup. So I'm just going to do that really quick to all four of them. And you also want to make sure that you get the bottom too because you're, if you're going to be putting the glitter there you want everything to be clean. So do the tops and the bottoms. So the next step for this is to figure out where on your cup you want the glitter to be. I know I'm going to do the bottom part. I want that to be glitter. And then I'm going to do a little bit on the top here, uh, actually on the bottom here. Um, so this is where the marker comes in handy, where you just take it and you find something that's the right height of whatever you're going to be doing. So um, for this, for my um, project, uh, I found out that my glitter is actually the, the right height that I want. So I'm going to take my glitter, put it flat, and I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to hold it flat against the glitter, and then I'm just going to turn my wine cup as I go, and that gives me a straight line. And the reason I'm using a uh, dry erase marker is you could easily wash it off. So I'm not going to put much glitter on here. So I'm going to put it. Uh, I'm going to put the tape around the top, and then I'm also going to tape the bottom here uh, because I just want the bottom part. I don't want any of the stem to be um, have glitter on it. So I'm going to put a piece of tape here, three pieces of tape, one here, one here, and then one down at the bottom. I'm going to do that for the next couple of glasses. So again, just lay it flat, hold the marker flat, and then just turn. And then you get a straight line every time. And then the reason you want to use the marker is because you can wash it off really easily. So I'm going to quickly finish these. So now that I have this done, this is where the electrical tape comes in. So I'm just going to take a piece of tape and then I'm going to flip my mug upside down. And you need to figure out where you want to put your tape. So since I know I'm doing the bottom glitter, I want the tape to go on top. So I'm going to flip it upside down. And then just follow my line that I had just made with the marker. And it's so much easier with this electrical tape because it's very flexible. So you can pick it up and kind of go along. You want to try to get above your line just a little bit so that when you want to erase it, you won't see it later on once you put your glitter on. So just take your time. Go around the edge and just try to get it a little bit underneath your line. And if you don't, that's okay. You can always wipe it off later, but it just makes it easier if you can do it all at once. So there it is. And then I just leave some extra 
and put it down on the side so that when I want to pull it off, I can easily pull it off. So I'm going to put one more piece here because I just want this part glittered. And then just do the same thing. This one does not have a line on it, so you just got to go with the curve of the cup itself. And I just want the stem part, so I'm just going to make this a little bit shorter. just gonna take it kind of eyeball it but you want it to be as straight as possible because that is where your glitter is going to lie so you want a straight there and then I always give it just a little bit of I just give it a little tail on the end so I can easily pick it up later and then one more spot, it depends, you don't have to do all this if you don't want to. I know I want it glittered here, and then I also want the bottom glittered. So you don't have to do this whole process, but this is just what I'm doing. So I'm going to take my extra piece that I cut off, and then just do the same thing for the bottom part. And then again, I just give it a little bit of a tail, so it's easier to take off later. So that is finished. So the next part you're going to want to do, take a cover or take a paper plate, whatever you have on hand to put your Mod, Pod, Mod Podge on. I just have this little cover that I use over and over again and then I purchase this huge thing of Mod Podge because I go through it a lot at Walmart. So I'm going to shake it up just a little bit and I'm just going to add a little bit of Mod Podge to that top of that container. And I will tell you this does get a little bit messy. Um, it's fun to do with kids, but it also gets messy when you start using the glitter. So I have some Mod Podge on here, and then I'm going to take my foam brush, and I'm just going to go over. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to take my towel that I used before and just go over my cup and get that black line off. And again, you might have a little bit afterwards when you put your glitter on, which is okay. You just gotta work carefully with it. So I did the best I could and just took the rest of the marker off and make sure it's dry. But then you take your um, foam brush and you just take your Mod Podge and you put it on wherever you want your glitter to be. Because your Mod Podge is basically your glue. So wherever you put your Mod Podge is where your glitter is going to stick. So you wanna make sure you put enough on but you don't want to put too much on, if that makes sense. So I'm just going around, I'm going all over, making sure I get really close to where the tape begins and ends. And then once I have it on, I like to just go over it with a straight line. Make sure I didn't miss anywhere, and I make sure I didn't put too much in one spot. So I kind of just work around and make sure I get a nice even line everywhere. So once you have it where you want it, I'm going to move this away and then I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper that I had cut out, move all this away, take a piece of the parchment paper and then I'm going to work with the glitter. So you have to figure out what color glitter you want to use. I'm going to use this pink color. I don't know how well it shows up. It's just a pink color. Um, and then I will open it. And then I'm just going to hold it kind of upside down and go all over with the glitter. And this is where the parchment paper comes in, so don't waste any glitter. And you just go all over and kind of like hit it and tap it just a little bit, making sure you get it everywhere. If you miss the first time, it's okay because you're going to have to put a couple of coats on here. So I will just continue to keep going around a little bit. And depending on what color you use for your glitter is really how many times you're going to have to um, do it. The darker colors, I notice, stay on really well and these lighter colors are kind of harder. So, and uh, this is where it comes in where you want to make sure your lines are very straight and you have the same amount of Mod Podge all over because you will see it a little bit if you have large lines. So I'm gonna let this part sit. I will work with the next part. I think I'm gonna keep it pink as well. So I'm gonna leave the um, glitter that's down there ready and then just work on the bottom part. And it's the same process. Just take your 
Mod Podge and you just put it on. And you want to try not to get it on the bottom of this because you really don't want to have glitter on the bottom of your cup. I don't know, maybe you do, but I don't. But you also want to make sure you get the edges really well so that the, it adheres to the side of it. So maybe if you want to even just run your brush around. But just again, carefully go over, make sure you get it everywhere. And if you miss a spot, that's okay because you're going to be doing a couple of coats on this. And then I'm just going to go over again carefully and try to make straight lines and then see if I missed anywhere. Again, once you think you get it, just take your glitter and do the same thing. Just put it all over. And kind of tap as you go. This is why I said it gets kind of messy. So you gotta be careful. Make sure you have something underneath it to catch it because you don't want to waste it either. So once you think you have it all done, I'm just gonna tap it a few times. Make sure I get the excess off and I'll put it to the side. And then I'll take my parchment paper and my glitter box and then I'll just pour it back in. So you're not wasting anything. finished. You can do the same thing if you're going to use the same color or you can use another piece of parchment paper and um, keep going. I'm actually going to switch it up and work on another one but I'm going to do the same process and I'll fast forward this so you don't have to watch me but I already have the line on here so I'm just going to take my tape and go around the edges and um, I'm not sure if I want to do the bottom or not. That's all up to you, how your preference preferences on how you want to do it. Um, I'll maybe just see how it looks with just the top. Um, but I want to do at least two of the same, so um, yeah, there's a pair of them. So I'm going to do this really quick and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I finished with those two. I'm gonna make sure I close my cover. And here is how it turned out. It's gonna need at least one, you know, maybe two more coats on here. Um, so you're gonna, I'm gonna let this dry probably for a few hours and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put Mod Podge on it again and do the same thing over again and put the glitter on it. Probably, like I said, maybe two or three more times. I will show you that process. And then when it is finished, um, you wanna do one more layer of Mod Podge and that's gonna seal everything for you. Um, this is will not be dishwasher safe. I use the just the regular Mod Podge, the matte um, kind. And these, uh, there is a dishwasher safe one, but honestly, I don't trust that. So I just tell people if I sell these, I just tell them hand wash only, you know, so you don't have the risk of the uh, glitter coming off. So this is finished. I'm going to do the next two really quick. I think I'm going to use red for the next two, but I will show you how those turn out. Okay, so a couple things that I forgot to mention. Um, so here's the red one that I did. But um, upon finishing this one, I remembered from the first time I did these, um, you wanna take the electrical tape off after you are done putting on the glitter. Do not want it to dry. And if you do let it dry, you have the risk of pulling off the glitter um, with the Mod Podge if you let it dry. So I'm going to carefully pull this off while it's still wet. And another thing that I also forgot to mention was um, you can see inside, you can see the lines, but I don't know if you can tell that where the lines are is more where it's white. If you um, finish your first layer and you notice that there are um, white streaks anywhere, um, that would be from the Mod Podge and it, would dry, it will dry. So if you can see all this, all the lines and everything, that is your Mod Podge. It will dry clear. You will not see those. And by the time you put the second and third coat on, 
you won't see it anyway. So there's the pink one. Here's the red one I did. I chose not to do the bottom just because I think it's easier if you're drinking something not to touch the bottom. So again, I'm just going to take off the tape while it is still wet. And the next part is a little bit trickier because you don't have the tape to go off of where your lines are, but it's really not as difficult as it sounds. Um, you just take your brush and then really gently go around. So here is this one. And if you have extra, as you can see there, I just have an extra brush and I just go around and pull that off. So it doesn't matter right now. Um, that would be the last part that you would do. Um, but sometimes you can see the black line. I don't know if that's showing up on here. Um, but you can just easily go around and wipe that off. Um, but again, you're going to be putting more coats on here. So I'm not worried about that right now. So I'm going to let these dry um, for a couple hours until you notice that it's not white anymore in the middle. Um, and then it's... it's um, dry to the touch as well. So I'm going to wait a few hours for these to finish and then I will show you the next step. Okay, so I let my cup sit overnight. Um, it turned out really well. Um, you can see the whiteness is gone inside. The only thing that you see left is the glitter. You need more glitter on here, obviously, or I need more glitter on it. And here are the pink ones with the stems, um, the bottom part done. Um, so since I have my tape already pulled off. This process is a little bit more tedious, but it's the same thing. You're going to take your brush, put a little bit of Mod Podge on, and you want to go a little bit more careful this time. You want to just follow the line at the top. And you remember, wherever you put your Mod Podge is where your glitter is going to go. So you want to be careful and just follow that line. And just take your time. It's not a rush. And then for the last part, you just do the same process. You're going to want to just do, let this, you put your glitter on and then you're going to let it dry. And then you do the same process. You put your glitter on it and then if that is enough, if two layers is enough for you, great. But if it's not, you just do the same thing and put your Mod Podge on and put your glitter on. But the last process for this whole thing is just this. So let's say I did another coat of glitter and then another coat of glitter and I like the way it looked. You want to put a layer of Mod Podge on and when it looks white, it's okay. Once it dries, it'll dry clear. So once it's finished, it'll look like this. So I'm going to put another uh, layer of glitter on here. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to see how it looks. If it needs another layer, I'll do another layer. If it's finished, I will do just like this and it will be done. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll show you. So the this final. is the last part to my cups. So last night I finished um, putting the second layer on and then I also put the Mod Podge on so um, it is hard to the touch there is no glitter that's coming off um, so I did it with both all the cups the pink and the red and I'll be honest I do not like this pink one I wish I would have done them all red so it's all up to you what color you want to do it but that is how you do it so for the last part I'm going to be using my SVG files and putting them on my cups so I have them here so I have to figure out these ones go together and then this heart is separate. So we will start with this Be Mine one. And I just have some transfer tape and I'm just going to put it on here, making sure this piece will fit. There. And then um, just peel back your transfer tape and put it on your file. And then I like to take a squeegee one of these tools and just kind of scrape it so it sticks to the transfer tape really well. And then I pull it back backwards. And then here it is. So what I like to do when I have a curved surface is just make little cuts in it. Just so it curves a little bit nicer onto the surface. You don't have to do this. It's just your preference on what you want to do. And I'm going to take off this extra piece here because we don't need that. And that'll just get in the way anyway. So we're just going to make some more cuts in here quick. And then figure out which one I want this on. I really like these red cups. So I'm going to use one of them. And you want to just put it on high enough 
It's not going to go on your glitter. And kind of center it as you go. And again, this is where the cuts come in so that it lies nicely onto your surface. Makes it a lot easier to get them flat. So just push really hard to make sure you get it on. And then when you're ready, peel back your transfer tape. There you go. This one says be mine and I believe this one had the heart on it. So I'm going to find that heart that I just had. Here it is. And I'm not even going to use a piece of transfer tape. I'm just going to peel it off myself. And then I'll place it wherever I want to put it. So I'll put it right here. So there we go. There's the first one. Be mine. And again, it's hard to the touch. It's not going to come off. You just want to make sure you do not put these in the dishwasher. These will be hand washed, especially because of the vinyl that cannot be washed. So I'm done with that one and I'm going to work on the next one. So I have a love. If I can pick it up. I have a love one and then I have an XOXO y'all one. So I think I'm going to put the love one on this other red one. And then there's the second one there. Whoops. There is a little bubble in this guy. Sometimes that happens, but if it does, you can just take like a tweezers and pull it up a little bit. Maybe your fingernail and then just lay it back down again so that it stays nice and flat. Again, it's handmade. Nothing's perfect, but you want to do the best job if you're going to be selling this or giving it away as a present. Um, but there is the second one. So I'm going to do the next with this, uh, the same process with the next two, and then I'll show you how those turn out. I love how these wine glasses turned out. They were quite easy to make, but a little time consuming, but a lot of fun to create. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.